Good morning students. In this class, we are going to discuss about textile wet processing and what are the processes carried out in that textile wet processing. So first, what do you mean by textile wet processing? From the loom, the grey cloth, it contains lots of impurities like uh, seed bits, dirt and oil, wax, uh, fat and also some yellowish, uh, yellowish matters in the fabric and also it, does, uh, it doesn't absorb water and it feels uh, rough. So uh, before uh, selling the grey cloth into the market, the lots of chemical processes are carried out. The chemical processes are called as wet processing that is textile wet processing. So the objective of textile wet processing to enhance the value of the grey cloth and to make the grey cloth usable for the apparel purposes. Okay, Let us see the process carried out in that uh, textile wet processing. So grey cloth, so grey cloth means the cotton fabric which is obtained from the loom state. So that is known as grey cloth. The grey cloth contains lots of impurities, protruding fibers, starch, wax, oil and wax, uh, fat and also some yellowish matters. In its surface and also the absorbency of the grey cloth is very less and it, uh, it it feels so rough okay so to make the grey cloth soft and to uh, make the appearance of the grey cloth uh, white and usable for the uh, stitching process the process are carried out so first the process is singeing next one is decising and next is covering and bleaching and moisturization and dyeing and printing and finishing. So these are the process flow to convert the grey the gray cloth into marketable. To enhance the surface character and also to enhance the aesthetic appearance of the grey cloth, these processes are carried out. So first, what is singeing? Singeing is a process of removal of protruding fibers. The grey cloth contains the protruding fibers. Fibers protrude from the surface of the cloth. So, uh, these protruded fibers affect the printing process. And also, it affects the smoothness of the fabric. So, the protruding fibers should be removed from the fabric. The first process is singeing. The first process is singeing. So, the singeing is a process of removal of protruding fibers from the surface of the fabric okay next process desizing so the name itself derives removal of sizing so what do you mean by sizing sizing is a process of applying starch in the warping before weaving so the size or the starch present in the warp yarn reduce the absorbency of the fabric so it is available in the the grey cloth. The grey cloth contains the starch material. So if we are uh, taking the grey cloth into the dyeing process means it doesn't absor absorb the dyes. So we can't dye or we can't print the fabric. So to enhance the water absorbency of the fabric the sides or starch should be removed from the fabric. So for the purpose the desizing process is carried out. So desizing is a process of removal of starch from the fabric and next is covering what is it it's covering if i have already told the cotton the cotton fiber uh, contains major part of cellulose again it contains oil some amount of oil uh, wax and also fat it also resists the penetration of water into the fiber so these are called as impurities so these impurities uh, have to be removed from the fabric so that process is known as covering that process is known as covering and next one is bleaching we know this name so bleaching means giving whiteness yes the same process carried out here the mainly the gray cloth is yellowish in nature 
So the yellowish matters should be removed from the fabric to make the fabric a uh, whiter. So uh, in this process, in the bleaching process, the yellowish natural coloring matter, it is a natural yellow color. So that natural yellowish, uh, yellowish matters are removed using some chemicals, right? So, and also it enhances the whiteness of the fabric. So this process is known as bleaching. And next, the three processes are carried out based on the end use of the fabric. One is mercerization, uh, next one is dye or printing. So these are the uh, uh, three major process based on the uh, requirement, based on the end use, one of these processes are carried out. Sometimes these three processes are also carried out in the same type of fabric. So what do you mean by mercerization? Mercerization is a process of giving shining to the fabric. Mercerization is a process of giving shining or lusher to the cotton fabric. Okay, dyeing, we know the name. Dyeing means applying color. Uh, nobody wants to uh, wear uh, white color or monotonous fabric. So we need some colors in the fabric. So the process of applying color is known as dyeing. And design, we like designs, right? So the designs are applied through the process of printing. So printing is the process of applying design on the textile material, right? And next, the last one, but not the least, the finishing. Uh, finishing is not just a word, it is a process in which based on the end use of the fabric, some special properties are applied on the fabric using some chemicals. For example, if uh, the fabric is converted into the uh, raincoat means, the raincoat should not absorb water into it, right? So, the fabric should be applied with a water repellent or waterproof finish. Right. And uh, one more fabric is converted into the uh, uniform material which should not, uh, uh, that means the soil should, should be resisted into the fabric means soil resistant finishing is applied. So based on the end use, some special properties are required in the uh, fabric. So that special properties are applied using some chemicals through the process of finishing. So the finishing is a process of applying uh, required properties based on the end use of the fabric right so these are the these are all the basic chemical process sequence in which the gray cloth is converted into the uh, fabric which contains all the aesthetic and also yeah valuable properties right okay let us see one by one Singeing. There are th three types of singeing is carried out. One is hot plate singeing and another one is roller plate singeing and next one is gas singeing. That is how the singeing process is carried out. The grey cloth is passed through the hot surface. The uh, grey cloth is passed through the hot surface because the surface contact with the hot surface the fibers protrude from the fabric is removed. So this is a principle carried out in singeing process, right? So these are the types. But these uh, hot plate and roller roller plate singeing cut uh, is having some uh, these uh, types these types of singeing are having some disadvantages because in hot plate singeing the fabric passes over the hot plate. Right, so the surface, the temperature of the hot plate is not same throughout the process. Sometimes the temperature reduces, or sometimes the temperature increases. So because of the uneven temperature of the hot plate and roller plate, the uneven singeing is carried out. The uneven singeing, uh, the result of the uneven singeing causes some uneven dyeing and uneven printing. So these two types of uh, singeing is not popularly used. But the third type, that is gas singeing. Gas singeing, in case of gas singeing, the fabric uh, the passes over the flame, gas flame. And one more thing, in case of these hot plate and roller plate, at a time, single side of the fabric is singed. 
but in case of gas hinging both the sides are that means the top of the fabric and also the bottom of the fabric the flame is placed so at a single time both the sides of the fabric are singed so this gas hinging is mostly used and one more thing the flame or temperature of the flame can be controlled so we can get uniform temperature throughout the process and also we can get the even singeing so among these three method gas singeing is mostly used in industries and singeing importance why we have to singe in the fabric so i have already told the gray fabric contains lots of protruding fibers but the protruding fiber causes uneven printing when if it is unremoved okay so the singeing after singeing the fabric surface is smooth and we can get a clear cut printing designs in the end of the processing so we can get a even printing and smooth surface so this is the importance of singeing okay next desizing so sizing that is the sizing is a process of applying starch in the warp yarn before weaving but desizing it is a process of removal of starch from the fabric so the starch present in the fabric reduce the absorbency of the cloth right so uh, if the starch is unremoved from the fabric if it is present in the fabric it uh, reduces the absorbency of the dyes so we cannot dye the fabric and also we cannot print the fabric perfectly so for the purpose of increase the absorbency of the fabric the sizing or the starch should be removed from the fabric so that process that is desizing process carried out to remove the starch from the fabric the desizing there are two types of desizing one is hydrolytic desizing another one is oxidative desizing in hydrolytic desizing water plays important role in case of desizing that is uh, the water is a major component of desizing in the hydrolytic desizing again classified into three one is rod stick and next one is acid stick and the third one is enzymatic stick so in the rod stick it is the oldest method of desizing that is the fabric is immerse in a water tank for 24 hours the microorganisms present in the starch it multiplies and it eats the starch that is the uh, insoluble starch molecules are converted into soluble starch molecules so finally uh, after 24 hours the fabric is washed so because of the microorganisms the starch after washing the starch is removed from the fabric but in case of rod stick desizing now uh, it is a time consuming process it is a that means it takes nearly 24 hours to completely remove the starch from the fabric and also if the time prolongs it affects the fabric also the cellulose uh, fibers are also affected by the prolonged storage of uh, fabric in the water so this method is the oldest method and it is not uh, mostly used in industries and uh, next one is acid stick method in acid stick method the hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid uh, are used for this purposes so some amount of uh, acid is uh, mixed with the water and the fabric is immersed in it nearly 8 hours and in this case also there is a disadvantage if the ph level if you are not maintaining the ph level means the acid may affect the fabric property and also it also a time consuming process so apart from this three uh, among the three uh, methods 
the enzymatic steep method is a very effective method that is the fabric is treated with the enzymes so the enzyme reacts with the starch and it one it only uh, remove the uh, sizing from the fabric it doesn't affect the fabric and also it is a very time consuming process but there is a only one point is the we have to maintain the ph level in case of enzymatic steep and also temperature the ph level and the temperature are the very very important process parameters in case of uh, uh, enzymatic steep because if the ph uh, we have to maintain the ph in the level of 5 to 7 if the ph level is beyond the 5 to 7 means the enzymatic steep we can't get the effective result right so in the desizing method the hydraulic in the hydraulic types of desizing there are three methods rod steep axe steep and enzymatic steep the enzymatic in the enzymatic steep is a very uh, effective method because the enzymes used in this process only reacts with the starch and removes the starch from the fabric okay students so in the next class we will see other types of uh, desizing and also remaining parts of the process which are carried out to convert the gray cloth into the marketable one thank you so much